Finally, politics gives way to sport. The 23rd Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang has been used as a pawn in relations between North and South Korea, between Russia and Olympic bosses too. Now 102 gold medals will be decided across 15 sports on snow and ice. And for South Koreans, pride can turn to excitement. We are so excited to be here because it's for Olympic. Cold? Are you worried about the cold? I'm not worried because our passion is so hot so we can overcome the any oh, coldest weather. <laughs> the forecast is for record-breaking cold weather, sometimes lower than minus 20 Celsius with bitter winds. And while you expect that in a Winter Olympics, it's causing problems for competitors. Skiers have complained about the effect on their equipment. But American superstar Lindsey Vonn will be happy to combat the cold after missing the last games through injury. Fellow American Michaela Schifrin is the bright new talent she's up against. The Nigerian women's bobsleigh trio has created a lot of interest. And in the spirit of the famous film Cool Runnings, yes, there is a Jamaican team too. Like the Nigerians, they are athletes turned winter sportswomen. And there's the man from Tonga, Pita Tafatufua. Opening ceremony star of Rio 2016 when he competed in Taekwondo, he'll be cross-country skiing here. But most remarkable is the unified Korean women's hockey team, announced just one month ago as part of a thawing in the tension. South Korea's medal chances lessened by a weaker team, but this matters more than sport. The host nation does have high hopes of medals in speed skating particularly, and home success is always an important ingredient in a successful Olympics as long as it's done fairly. Russia faced the consequences of a systematic doping regime when it hosted in Sochi four years ago. Controversially, when the snow finally settles here, they'll be not far short of 200 so-called Olympic athletes from Russia. No anthem, no fanfare, but every chance of medals for them. This is the first of three consecutive Olympic games in this part of the world. In two years time, there's a summer games in Tokyo, and then in four years time, a Winter Olympics in Beijing. But this next fortnight is Pyeongchang's time after two failures to land the games previously. And it's to be hoped that the sport is as fresh and clean as the landscape. Lee Wellings, Al Jazeera, Pyeongchang in South Korea.